And we're back with some more RimWorld. Today, uh, today we're just recovering from the, the Empire. Well, when I say the Empire, we're recovering the Harvest, which was a Neuro Calculator, a Drill Arm, an Armor Skinned Land, and a second Armor Skinned Land. So that was actually quite a tasty amount of resources they provided with, even if they're not... Actually, some of these have some decent market value. But we have uh, our, our people out on the map, Trade Caravaning. They're going over here to drop off some supplies. We've loaded them up with... An awful lot of drugs, like just a ludicrous amount of flake, I think about a thousand and something flake. It was a good thing too, because that dropped the wealth of our colony quite a bit, you can see. But not enough, it seems, because we've immediately got another raid. We just dealt with the last one, and now we've got two more, another one inbound. So I've got all the animals and all of our people heading back towards the center. Let's hope they can get away before whatever this is pops out. We've got eight drop pods. We are going to hope it's not all centipedes. Don't be all... Okay, that's fine, that's... Scythers. You know what? Oh, Lancers. You gonna shoot my goats? Or the alpacas? Yep, there goes an alpaca. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so we got a few pikemen. And we got a couple of Lancers. Yeah, yeah, okay, this will be grand. We'll pull everyone back inside, close the doors, and then we'll go in here into our kill box and make sure we murder them all. Everything went as planned. Well, the injury and probably certain fatality of alpaca 6 was not quite according to plan, but they are all heading over to our kill box over here. Now, Kira over here has some nice psychic powers that we're going to try and take advantage of. We're going to try and uh, stun them. And the first one in is not going to have any luck. You. Ooh. Maybe we spent all of our killing on them. Nope. And poof. Okay, so let's stun them both. That's nice. That Scyther is about to get up close and personal with Can. I'd rather they did not. But, and again, I would rather they also didn't get up close and personal with uh, anyone else. That is perfect. Yeah, I think this actually went pretty well. Okay, I'm going to need you to shoot that one there. Like, if you could just shoot that. Yeah, there we go. Now, pop back over there. The MPs are doing a beautiful job. We'll get Kira maybe to use a bit of a psychic power again, and that should be the end of them. All right, and all of that can took a bruise from a scyther blade. We're going to call that one a victory and send everyone back to work. Arriving at Runton to trade... Runton? Runton to trade? They have the same stuff they had before, but we've got way more money to work with. So we're going to pick up a telescope, sell off all our junk clothing and weaponry that we picked up along the way, and at the same time we're going to pick up quite a few little tasty treats while we're here. Uh, the first thing is we're going to pick up all of their beer. We're also going to grab a love enhancer, which will uh, increase the mood gain for our people who are uh, sleeping together by 1.5. So that's going to be very helpful. A psychic insanity lance, because they really are nice to have around. 35 of their medicine, 30 of their components. Of course, that leaves us quite low, but let's just say... We'll throw some flake at that problem, and boom, it's no longer a problem. In fact, you know what, we'll take all their money as well. There we go. That is the power of having flake. Oh my god, 5,500 flake and we pretty much cleaned out everything they had that could possibly be anyway useful. And now we can head back home. We're getting very close to going up though in value. Our colony is, where is it, before I left, our colony had gone from having the plus tw uh, 12 moderate expectations to 6 for good high expectations. We need to make sure that that doesn't get any higher just soon. We need to get more marble first and lots more good sculptures, and improve everyone's mood a lot more. Well, time for a party. This time it's thrown by Guinan, which seems kind of appropriate. And at the same time, we've got a bunch of thrombos moving in. So you know what that means. Time for some thrombo for dusters. Also, we'll be using our uh, alpaca shield wall again. Ooh, caravan's arrived at Defiant. Excellent, the caravan has returned. Let's see what that has done to our wealth, the wealth of the colony. Has not, has it put us over there? Yeah, moderate expectations. We haven't quite gone over the edge. That's good. That is very good. We'll bring back in, unload all the stuff, and then we'll head back out again. We just want to unload some of the uh, medicine and things like that because we do need to get some operations ongoing. We've got a learning assistant we can throw into our hippie, and they can get back to the research bench. Oh, the reason I'm calling Luxana a hippie is because, well, she's a nudist, and when we found her, she's a nudist with a, a, a smoke leaf addiction when we first found her. So now she's lost a leg and a lung since she met us, so maybe she's, she's toughening up a bit. One thing I just noticed there was I was about to queue up an operation. Releasing a prisoner gives you a moodlet bonus. I had no idea. We released two of the Empire prisoners after we'd stripped them of, you know, all of their implants and anything that was useful. But turns out releasing prisoners give you a Moodle bonus. Not a big enough one that I'd care, but eh, it's good to know it does something. At least there's a bonus for doing it. At the same time, we are going to harvest a lung from this person because, uh, yeah, we, we want their lung so that we can give it to Luxana. And Luxana, we're going to... Where did you go, Luxana? 
Yeah, we're going to send them off to get an operation to have that research assistant implanted in them. That neurocalculator, that'll improve their researching speed. And that also means we've got uh, two armor skin glands. Should we give her one? I'm not even sure. It will add to her, make her ugly and slow her down, so I'd prefer not to, considering she's already got a peg leg. Though we do have a drill arm to go with it, and I'm thinking, mm, Wesley was going to be our miner. I'm thinking we give Wesley the mining drill. It will help them with their mining. All right, like Lu Luxana will get her new research enhancer. That should make her even faster at knocking the research out. Oh, it's a nice bonus. Uh, drill arm we're not going to put on Wesley just yet. We've got to get these drills up and running. I've been very lazy about getting the building done. And Kira is about to try her hand at doing an inspired poker table. Let's see how that plays out. Let's try our hands at killing a thrombo. Now, Kira, let's see if you've got your vertigo pulse. Does that work on this thing? Uh... Yep, totally does. That makes it so much simpler. Uh, how much time she got to recharge that? She can do another one straight away. Let's go grab ourselves another thrombo, shall we? Uh, let's see what Kira's inspiration bought us. Masterwork poker table. This should be quite handy. Increases recreational power 182% compared to our current one. Good one at 146. Okay, I think we're going to retire this poker table. Uh, we'll uninstall you, and we'll reinstall this one in that location. For today's little project, we want to get our stone production mildly automated. Right here we've got a deep drill. It just drills into the, mi the ground and it's pulling out marble chunks. This one, one tile away, is actually picking up slate. So I think what we'll do is we'll just move that a little bit further, and hopefully we can find one that's actually going to give us uh, granite. Oh, look at that, granite. So we've got granite there, marble there. Now with just a little bit of smart wiring, we can make sure that we never have to worry about those two again. We can just... We don't drill them out of the ground for infinity, so long as we've got someone to pull it out for us. Also, while I was busy getting that on, it turns out the shuttle has arrived to pick up the two tribes people. It departs in three days. You know what? I think... I think we will let that run for a little bit longer. The longer we can keep these and the more meditation we can squeeze out of them, the better. Uh, while that's going on, though, let's, uh, let's get this set up and get everyone configured for doing their mining. Another quick thing to take care of, we need to put in that geothermal generator. I've finally mined out all the... or removed all the plants from around there. Time to install that, that's going to make our power needs, well, pretty much obliviate them. It's going to t we can even start putting in some greenhouses as well to ensure we have all year round growing. And how much of that grass? We've got 22, that's perfect. Kira, I think it's about time you hit level 5, I want to say? What's she at right now? Level 4, okay, so that'll be level 5 side casting for her. Sweet. Another quick thing to take care of, we're going to install a love enhancer in Guinan here. Uh, the reason being, if we can keep her as happy as possible, she's more likely to get inspirations. And the more inspirations she gets, the more likely we are to get really good weapons out of her, since she's our number one crafter. That will also make happy her partner, Cisco, but that's really no big deal. Uh, preferably it'd actually be Guinan and, I'd say, our primary builder, which would be Kira, but... Mm, you, you can only get so lucky. Anyway, we'll let Kira go back to sleep. She's just linked up. What's her new ability now? She's got Flash Storm. Okay, so she can call down lightning storms. That's that's wonderful. Um, uh, these the caravan is almost at Sharks Bramble. All right, well, once we're at Sharks Bramble, we can start trading with them. Oh, and that reminds me, some of our research has completed. We have now got our hands on ground penetrating scanner, which will allow us to find even more minerals if we want them. And we also got transport pods. So transport pods, I think, will go in down here. They're reasonably sheltered, and we can fire them off. Ooh, caravan ambush. Uh, I was worried about this. We were sending an awful lot of resources for them. Uh, scary invented manhunted guinea pigs? Two guinea pigs. Um, I think... You know what? I think we're going to be okay. Let's get a quick defensive lineup. For some reason, I don't think the guinea pigs are going to be able to do too well against two donkeys, never mind the people armed with a shotgun and the rifle, though. Ooh. Did, did that guy actually hit Garrick? Okay, never mind. Oh, one more thing we're going to want to do. When it comes to these deep drills, you can get a bonus to working them if you if you have a, a drill arm attached to you. It's not as good as the, the drill arm's much better if you're just mining out of a mountain. I think you get half the bonus for working a drill. But Can is actually a good miner. And they happen to be missing an arm. And we happen to manage to get our hands on a drill arm during our uh, last... Dem demolition of our, our last friends that we met. So we can replace their left arm with a drill arm. Eh, all just kind of works out quite nicely. Of course, it's not perfect. There was a, a bit of a mistake over here when I accidentally extracted this person's lung. This was the wrong one. This was the one I was trying to recruit. I was meant to extract the lung from this person who has no legs and couldn't complain about it. But unfortunately, that's given us a, a bit of a debuff for the organ harvesting. That's going to slow down their recruitment because, you know, they're a bit unhappy about the organ harvesting. 
but it's okay. It's okay. We can sort this out. We will be fine. I am so glad we made the trip over to this place. And uh, what's this place called? Oh, you know what? Never mind. What's what's so good about it though is all of the things they have. Psychic shock lance. Yes, psychic insanity lance. Would also like that. Neurotrainer intellectual. That would actually come in quite handy. Uh, side trainer, vertigo pulse, and manhunter pulse. Those two are actually pretty good. Ar coagulator. I would like. To, uh, don't really care about it so much. But the arcotech eye. Very much a yes. Uh, weapons wise, they don't have anything I'm too interested in, but they do have two excellent helmets a recon helmet masterwork and a prestige cataphract helmet. And yes, my eyes are bigger than my wallet, but let's see what we can buy. After selling the lot, including the drugs, we still get a psychic shock lance, a psychic insanity lance. Uh, we can't get the unfortunately the Arcotech eye, but we do manage to pick up both the helmets the recon and the prestige cataphract. This will go really get re well on Kira's head to stop her from, you know, getting shot in it. I think that's a damn good haul. They can all come back home now. Uh, though I do have one problem, and that is the amount of meds that my people are carrying around. There's so I've actually grown too much herbal medicine. I may just have to leave that in, in long-term storage and let it go off because it's filling up my fridge just a little bit too much. Now that we've got the long-range mineral scanner down, it's time to maybe expand on some of the ones we skipped. So I'm thinking we'll go and grab... Oh, where was it? Mortars. Yes. I want mortars because we're going to need those as the raids get tougher. Now, Can over here is equipped with a drill arm and it is making them absolutely ludicrous at drilling through things. Ooh, excellent. They're going to go over there. You know what? We'll take that as well. I want them to get as many components as they can around the map. We're going to need a lot of them. Ooh, that also means we're going to need a radar scanner as well. Or a long distance mineral scanner. With nine hours left to go, I think we'll send Trout and Skunk back on their way. They have serviced us well. Uh, we've done it. Yeah, I think that's everyone. Perfect. Yeah, what was it? Oh yes, you got some gold out of that. Who cares? We're going to load up this launch transport pod here. We're going to use this to buy some friendship with some nearby people. And this here is how we're going to mass produce our stone. We've got one doing marble and one doing granite because both of them are going to be useful. Ah, too deep infestation. Ah, yes. One of the other benefits of this, more free meat, more free chem fuel, more free everything. This, these, these drills just pay for themselves. Uh, let me grab some people together and get our, uh, our llama squad together. And here they come. Uh, let's uh, maybe move this around a bit. Get a few more people with the better weapons up front. Yeah, that seems a little bit nicer. And that is a bunch of cheap free meat. We'll go butcher that up immediately and we're gonna make ourselves some more chem fuel because why not? Oh, butcher creature forever. That's already configured. Good to go. While all that was going on though, we did get around to something else and that was loading up this transport pod, which is finally just about finished. Unfortunately, we may have overloaded it just a bit. What we want to do is make friends with people. Unfortunately, that's going to give us 143 with those, that crowd. That's a little much. All we need is, what, they're minus 80? All we need is a, a plus 80 to mood and they'll they'll like us and we can start trading with them. I was going to make friends with the Empire, but you know what? They, they give us such good stuff. Why, sh why should we make friends with them now? Okay, that's more like it. Plus 75. We'll fire that off and we'll make sure to uh, haul all that stuff back inside. We don't want that going off. That's good for trading. Once that hits, it'll get us close enough that another one more trip over there, we can send some people over there, give them a little bit of a gift, and we'll finally be able to trade with those. To improve on our minerals, we're going to put in a long-range mineral scanner. We're going to start putting uh, Cisco onto scanning, and we'll get Leave Luxana on the research. She's got that neural calculator, so it should help her out. She's not quite as good as Cisco just yet, even with that, but she'll eventually surpass him because she's got a burning passion for it. A quick prison break is about to happen. That's going to be annoying. Worf is currently viewing art. Let's hope that doesn't become too problematic. Ooh, where is that one going? Mm. I've got animals on the way, but I think they're going to run away too fast. I think we may have to just start punching them. Well, the alpaca police showed up, and I think Cooch is about to go down. Karucha? This one, however, is a lot tougher. They've got that armor skin gland, which I never removed, so they might take a little bit longer to go down. We'll keep everyone standing by watching on. I mean, they need some entertainment. Ah, there we go, one of them's down. Uh, how about Karucha? Come on, he's about to get ganged up on goats from the rear as well. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Yep, perfect. Uh, let's uh, let's put them back in their prisons, shall we, and get back to recruiting them. Oh, we've got a new bulk goods trader arriving. Let's have a look, see what they've got. I really hope they have lots and lots of bricks. It would really speed up the construction process. Ooh, we have a lot of stuff we can sell. Unfortunately, no bricks, but I will take a chunk of their steel just to tide me over for now. I was going to buy all their components, but you know what? We should hopefully be getting our hands on more components soon enough as is. We will drag that inside immediately. Uh, over here, we are just expanding this out. This is going to become a, a greenhouse. Now, I know the soil isn't great, but 
realistically, I need two chunks to make a greenhouse, and none of the areas we've got under control are actually very good for growing. Actually, this one would be good. Ooh, maybe we should make it over there. You know what? That might be a better location. Nope, nope. That can be the second location. Uh, that one requires us to do a lot more walling in to make sure it's sealed off. So we'll just uh, we'll do this first and we'll worry about the rest later. Ah, Cassandra has decided to show us what the main course is today. And it's the Pisa tribe. They're attacking from multiple targets. And it's three groups of mini sappers. So we got nine of them over here. Hmm, mix of weaponry, unfortunately. I prefer when they're one type or the other. It just makes things simpler. Over here, it is all ranged, except for, is there just one spear? I think there's just one spear. All the rest of them are all uh, ranged. That, that one would be handy to work with. Uh, we just have to wait around a corner and sh introduce the bullets into their brains when they get around it. Ooh, over here is a bit of a mix as well, and they got 12. Let's just start uh, getting everyone together and see which direction they're going to attack from first, and we'll have to get the uh, the alpacas in on it also. Looks like the top, top uh, sappers are up to their usual tricks, so we'll get up to our usual tricks. Uh, maybe don't have Neelix up front. We'll put him at the back. Who's more sacrificial? Uh, Worf? Yeah, you've been an excellent sacrificial lamb so far. We'll just uh, crank that door open. Uh, you pull them back. Seriously? You're not going to take the bait? Okay, come on. You're not still not going to take the bait? We've shot two of your people dead. Three. Okay. Still going for... That's four. Five. <laughs> uh, okay, we may just have to just do a slight adjustment here. All right, we're going to get the car to maybe slow them down a bit and send him in a bunch of attack animals to help out. Okay, and they're broken. Well, except for... Is this one Gabella? Yeah, we'll see. Actually, are they worth killing? You know what? We'll let the alpacas uh, chew away at them. Maybe they can find something useful. Uh, over here, oh, they're going to break in on that section. Nothing we can do to stop that. And down here, oh, they're going to break right in through there, I'd say. Yeah, they're going to dig at the marble walls, so someone's coming in through that direction. Oh, I think we might have to leave these ones for now. And go down here and stop this. This could do far more damage. Plus, we have that emanator down there. I don't want to lose it. So, let's get everyone back in. Get everyone moving back towards the home base. Everyone is on their way, but unfortunately, it's only Kiri here so far. We'll hold this door open, and she'll just have to distract them while the rest of them show up. Yep, uh, that got that person's attention. The rest of them are on the way. That's a nice bunched up sack of meat. Uh, okay, you all down here. Uh, yep, you can go there, except for... Stop being useless, Wesley. You can go over there somewhere. Now, where is Vertigo Pulse? That's... Yeah, we're going to put Vertigo Pulse right about there. Okay, let's show down another Vertigo Pulse, just because we can. That works out beautifully. They just mill around and get shot to bits. Oh, and they're throwing up as well. Okay, well, I will have to clean that up, which is an annoyance, but... Okay, who's left? How have they not broken? How many of them are actually left standing? Okay, quite a few. Maybe I think one more little trick from Kira should... Uh make them less inclined to be problematic. Yeah, that should be perfect. Ah, you hit Garrick. Okay. Broken. Okay, that's another one done. Where is the last of them? Oh, they're drilling in through here. That actually works out just fine. Where's our animals? Oh, damn, I left the animals all back there, didn't I? You know what? Animals can come back home. We can take care of this on our own. All right, this could be slightly tricky. We don't have much cover to work with, and they're going to have some cover of their own. So having one of them run right across a trap does help. Now, uh, Kira, how are you doing? You unfortunately have not recovered enough to do another Vertigo Pulse. We could overcharge you, but I'd rather not. I think we'll just let you recharge as normal. Ooh, this is pretty much a good quarter of death to kill them in. All right, I'm going to get Garrick out of the way, and I'm going to send a bunch of animals on top of that guy to hopefully stop him from shooting at us. That way we can move forward, because some of our animals are getting quite hurt. Nope, there they go, they've broken. Alright, so Garrick, you can go back to work, go back to, well, not dying. And uh, we're gonna have to fix up Neelix and Kira's bedroom, but I think that worked out okay. Let's see how many uh, leftover prisoners we have. There's a few live ones around here somewhere. The last of them have managed to make their way over to this door, which they're trying to beat down to escape. Unfortunately for them, Kira has charged up again. <laughs> oh, 
Damn, didn't get all of them. Okay, well, we got most of them. Let's send the rest of them over there to see if we can't kill a few more. I mean, I don't mind making sure none of them escape alive. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. I think we got them all. <laughs> That's a lot of dead ones, but we did capture a few live ones. So, prisoners obtained during that. Well, uh, where was it? We put them over here. We've got this one, which is brought in by Cisco, which is Naru. Uh, never mind. They're a quick sleeper kind. Good at plants, good at crafting. Unfortunately, that's it, and they can't do dumb labor. We'll just uh, get them on hunting and maybe doing some meditation until we've got Kira up to full speed. Uh, at the same time, we had another one. Neelix, where are you? Neelix is carrying one as well, and we had the option to capture this one down here, Lemur, but they're a slow learner. Just no. Never, ever do a slow learner. Never again. Just, I will not do it. That minus 75% is just crippling. And uh, then we've got this one running over here. Was it Rambarox? Yeah, they've got four hours to bleed out. I'm pretty sure they're going to collapse. They're too smart, but that does mean they'd be excellent at planting, crafting, mining. They did have a few things going for them, though they are 50. Maybe we should just kill them. Hmm... You know what? I don't think beggars can be choosers. We might have to go pick them up. Well, we managed to survive that with only a little bit of an annoyance. No one had a mental break, though Worf has to do the largest cleanup I've ever seen in a long, long time. The amount of blood that's everywhere from all of the killing. That was actually a pretty large raid. Uh, I'd better go incinerate those corpses. Ah, nothing like the smell of a job well done. That's a, That went incredibly well. For triple sappers from three different directions and we weren't able to get up kill boxes for all of them, that went really, really well. Uh, big shout out to Kira there for really saving our butts. That uh, that vertigo pulse is really, really useful. The, we need to find some way, though, of decreasing her psi heat even faster. I think we're going to get her one of those magic wands. She'll look ridiculous, but we can make it work. After we knocked out long range mineral scanner and grand penetrating raider, I picked up some prosthetics. The reason being, I think we're still going to get some bionic replacements. Though, I think this may be our last side trip. The reason being, I've just realized we've got 16 people hired, we can only hire 9 more. Well, we don't have 16, several have died of course, but we only have 9 more and we still have to research all of this. It would be much faster of course to do the, the Royals mission and get them to evacuate us from the planet, but no, I decided we were giving the middle finger to them, so we're going to actually research this, build a ship and get off the planet on under our own steam. So this will be our last side project. After that, we're going full into space production. Looks like Deanna Troy is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will get a lasting mood bonus. That's... how many is that? I'm pretty sure we still have... Yeah, we still have the effect from the last party is about to wear off in three hours. Ooh, does that mean this person has stopped being annoyed about us stealing their lung? Yep, they are back to full health. Wait, yep. They don't, they don't mind that we stole their lung anymore, they've forgotten about it. That's perfect, now we can steal Combo's lung instead. This was the one I meant to take the lung out of it, and we can take that lung and we can give it to... Kar Karuka? Yeah, we can give it to Karuka instead. A new recruit, finally. Kar Karucha? You know what? Doesn't matter, we're renaming them immediately. Yeah, please say hello to... Uh, Ro Lauren. Ro Lauren was what was voted for in the comments, and I thought, you know what, it was a... Well, it was a good suggestion. I, I'd honestly forgotten about her quite a bit, but you know what? She works. Uh, we will have her, you know what, we are just going to have her immediately start helping out on the meditation. If you check down here, Kira is pretty close to a level 6. All she needs is about another 2 to 4 anima grass, and she should be able to level up to level 6, at which point we can dose her up with Berserk Pulse. Now, we could actually do dose her with Berserk Pulse now, but I prefer to wait until she can actually use it before we dose her, just in case, you know, some sort of accent befalls her between then and now. I think we'll have to cut it out there. I'm running out of time. It's it's a busy week. There's a bunch of overtime at work, so I've got about a 64-hour week I'm doing at the moment, so videos will be a tiny little bit shorter this week, I'm afraid. Just uh, not enough time in the day. Oh, I should have updated the score there a while back. We actually lost a point because we went past the 6th of December, but we gained another point when we hired that pawn, so you know what? It all works out. And we're going to have another pawn joining us soon. Where is it? Yeah, they've got nine resistance. They're dropping 1.7. Yeah, they'll be joining us in a few cycles. No bother at all. We'll move one of our other prisoners down here. I like moving the prisoners down here because it keeps them in range of the psychic emanator, which remind me I have to repair that. And it helps boost their mood, which makes recruiting them a little bit more easy. However, these new recruits, they're tough. They're really tough. They do not want to get recruited anytime soon. We're going to need every little trick we can to break them. We have a quest that's shown up, and I'm not quite sure what to do with it. 31 pants we can probably achieve. I'll just have to slaughter every animal on the map and cut them up for leather. But I mm, I don't want the plasteel longsword, the harp skirt, or anything, but we've got a choice between a stone skinned gland and an excellent mono sword. We can give that to one of our, well, give that to a melee pawn, turning them into, into an absolute close combat monster. 
or we can get an architect eye. Someone's got a damaged eye out there that would be very helpful. And some luciferium, which would, well, we could dose a few people up on that, definitely. It would make them a lot better. I mean, if you look at the numbers, we only need, what, four more pawns? We've got uh, one, two, three. We've got four prisoners in storage. We've got 17 there. That means with those four hired, we'll be up to 21, meaning we'll only need four more pawns to hit our 25. And then the moment we hit those four, we immediately want to start the ship engine. So we pretty much want to start going towards ship parts now. We, we don't want to be waiting around anymore. So I'm thinking it's time to start editing for Endgame, and Luciferium would give us that edge. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave it up to the comments. Let me know what you think, the Monosword or the Architect Eye and Luciferium. Anyway, we'll cut it out there. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck. Mm -hmm.